bikes. Just so you know, if you're less than 20 minutes late for class, you don't need to get a note, you can just go to class. But if you're more than 20 minutes, make sure you go down to the attendance office and get a note and take it to your teacher. Verifying absences. A phone call no longer counts. You need to either have a note signed by your parent or an email from your parent or you can just bring them to the school. A form is available in the attendance office for students who know they will be absent from school for four or more days. This form should be used when families plan activities that will take the student out of school for vacations, medical reasons, etc. Okay, Vikings, this is Mr. Johnson. We're going to talk about the discipline policy. Uh, we reserve the right to suspend students if you do any of the following. Fight, have a willful disrespect towards any of the authority in the building, uh, if you're cheating, if you're truant, if you're disrupting any learning activities, vandalism of private or public property, harassment of any kind, uh, dress code violations, and everybody's favorite, PDA. Okay, everyone has phones these days and they're very helpful but they can also be very distracting. Electronic devices and phones are prohibited during school hours. No electronic device shall be used during testing of any kind. The use of any electronic device is prohibited during class, assemblies, concerts, and other class activities where the use of such devices would cause a disruption or be disrespectful to those participating. Students may use electronic devices before and after school, during lunch, and while passing from one class to another. Students may also use cell phones in emergency situations as defined by the staff, including medical emergencies, to report criminal activity on school grounds, and to prevent injury to other students or staff, and to report destruction of school property. Consequences for students who violate the policy may increase using the following schedule. First offense, teacher confiscation and return to student after class. Second offense, administrative confiscation and the phone will be returned to student at the end of the day. Third offense, administrative confiscation return to parent. Fourth offense, administrative confiscation for six days. Fifth and future offenses, administrative confiscation for six days or suspension. Viewmont High School follows the Davis School District citizenship policy that states that every student must have 35 credits credits of positive citizenship to graduate. Students should already be aware that each teacher may grant a U based on their own classroom requirements. We encourage students to act responsibly in class, be on time, and attend regularly so that they can avoid unsatisfactory citizenship. However, in the event that, student, that a student does receive a U, there are several options for citizenship makeup. A student choosing to make up their citizenship credit should make sure that they check in the main office with the citizenship secretary before they make up the credit. Scheduled change sessions are held at the beginning of each semester and the fee is $10. After the change session, all requests for a schedule change are required to go through an appeal process. The requirements for that are students may not have any citizenship use, students must obtain all necessary signatures, First and third terms, appeals may be made for three weeks at the beginning of the term, and then second and fourth terms, appeals may be, may be made for one week at the beginning of the term. Viewmont High School strongly encourages modest behavior and attire at all student activities. The administration will determine what is disruptive or inappropriate for the circumstances. Students whose behavior and or attire is disruptive to extracurricular activities may lose the privilege of attending the activity or future activities. At dances, there will be no readmitted. Anyone causing a disruption will be asked to leave, and students must have a date. The Board of Education of the Davis County School District recognizes that proper dress affects the way students learn every day in school. Hair should be styled in a clean and well-groomed manner, no startling or disruptive hairdos. Shoes must be worn at all times. Clothing shall not be worn which may disrupt, call undue attention to, or interfere with school functions. Clothing shall be of modest design. All shirts must have sleeves. No tank tops, bare midriffs, bare stomach, off the shoulder blouses, backless or sheer fabrics. Visible undergarments must be covered at all times. Short shorts, short skirts, and short dresses will not be accepted. They must be no shorter than three inches above the knee. 
Clothing attachments or accessories, which could be considered a weapon including, but not limited to, spikes on boots, bracelets or chokers, chains on wallets or oversized belts will not be permitted. Exaggerated body piercing is not allowed. No piercing in the nose, eyebrows, lips or tongue allowed. Junior and senior students who have no use or unpaid parking tickets are eligible to purchase a parking pass. These parking passes are $5 per semester. At the beginning of second semester, eligible students may purchase a second semester parking pass for $5. Parking passes must be hung on the mirror and clearly visible at all times. Every student must purchase their own pass. This means you cannot buy a parking pass for your friend. No refund will be given for loss or revoke permits. A range parking pass authorizes a student to park in the driving range only. Any student with a range pass or any student who parks without a valid pass or in other areas other than the designated student parking will be subject to the following fines or penalties. A $15 parking violation, towing at owner's expense, or having their car booted. Students, let's talk about truancies for just a few seconds. A student is considered truant any time they are out of class without proper permission. Uh, truancies can accumulate with fines. Your first truancy is usually a warning, and with each truancy after that, there is a monetary fine and they add up quickly. If you want to avoid being truant, it's pretty simple. Be where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there. It is the policy of Davis School District in Viewmont High School to promote school safety and order, orderly school environment for all in-school employees. So uh, Davis School District has a zero tolerance policy. That means there are certain things that if you violate or are a part of, there is absolutely zero tolerance and it will not be accepted. Safe school violations include, but are not limited to, weapons and weapon facsimiles, drugs, drug paraphernalia, drug distribution, fighting, harassment, bullying, and that includes bullying that could take place on social media. Any of these could result in suspension and a district referral. The Vimo tradition of excellence holds each Viking responsible for keeping an environment of honesty. The core values of education are learning to be self-reliant, responsible, a good citizen, and true to your ethical principles. The purpose of this honor code is to create a clear understanding among students, parents, and staff regarding conduct expectations. As Vikings honor these guidelines, they will grow in character, pride, and moral integrity. As a Viking, because my honor is dear to me, I will be respectful of others and their property. I will not participate in any form of academic dishonesty, including plagiarism. I will be fair in correcting of students' schoolwork and my own work. I will not share or receive information about a test, quiz, or other schoolwork unless approved by a teacher. I will always consider schoolwork to be an individual effort unless otherwise specified by a teacher. I will be honest with my peers, teachers, myself, and others. I will encourage the others to do the same, and I will follow all rules of my High School. I commit to take pride in my work and continue a tradition of excellence and integrity.